In this video, we're gonna look at some outfits that can make you look a little older than you are and some ways to look more modern and current. I don't really think any of us wanna look younger necessarily, but we don't wanna look older than we are and we don't wanna look frumpy and we wanna look modern and current and that's what this video is about. Before we jump into the before and after outfits, I wanna just sum it up for you. There's really two main reasons why you end up looking older than you are or kind of frumpy when you get dressed. I say you, but I'm really talking to me because the first one is where I fall into and it's because we're wearing too much fabric like too much layering or too many things hanging over our pants or not brought in enough or just too baggy, too oversized, like just too much fabric. And then the other reason is that we're wearing styles that are generally considered to be out of style and not that you need to keep up with all the trends and there's lots of ways to restyle a lot of things that aren't trending anymore. But if your complete outfit is something everyone was wearing and like on repeat five or 10 years ago, it just, it, at this point, it kind of looks a little dated. So the first outfit is one that I have definitely been guilty of wearing multiple times in my life, probably still wear it sometimes, but it is an outfit that can age you. My before outfit is a top that is currently for sale at Target. It has a crisscross tie in the front, which looks a little dated, and the top itself has a boxy fit and shorter sleeves and really doesn't do anything for me. The jeans are rolled up, cutting me off at my legs, and have a side stitching that also makes these look a little dated. Then I have some very comfortable, but not very flattering shoes on. This outfit makes me look a little frumpy and ages me. I feel like when we wear this kind of outfit, our goal is to be comfortable, or usually that's what my goal was. And so keeping with that theme, I traded out the top for a green blouse that is also currently for sale at Target, but the style is more traditional and less trend driven. I swapped the cropped stitched skinny jeans for an ankle cropped straight leg, jean and i like this top tucked in but i do have an alternate coming up then i recently found these shoes which uh, which have all the orthotic arch support and are very comfortable but also look a lot cuter so instead of looking dated and frumpy i now am still very casually dressed but i look a little more put together the length of the jeans and the shirt tight in also make my legs look longer and I don't appear to be as bulky up top. There are a lot of shoes out there that are comfortable and cute, but you do have to spend a lot of time looking for them and trying things on. I'm not a fan of leaving shirts out like I have here on the left, so I would recommend always doing a front or side tuck or tucking it all the way in. I know that we, a lot of us struggle with the our belly area and I think that's, you know, that's obviously why we leave our shirts untucked like this but as you can see it just it doesn't really solve any kind of problem and I feel like it looks better to just tuck it in a little bit just a little front or side tuck and remind ourselves that very few people are walking around with flat stomach and washboard abs you're beautiful and no one's really looking there anyway the other thing you can do is to search out for tops that are meant to be left out over your jeans and those are available you do have to kind of search these tops out if this is your issue and you really like tops that go over i would definitely search out the tops that are meant to be left out over your pants when I realized that I wore outfits like this way more than I should, I started making it a priority to find clothes that fit me and were comfortable that I could wear casually, but also didn't age me or look unflattering on me. So did you know that a lot of celebrities sleep on their back to prevent wrinkles? So when you sleep like this and your face pressed up against a pillow, um, over time, it is helping for wrinkles to form. So that brings me to our sponsor, which is Sleep and Glow, and they have a pillow that does a lot of things, but one of them is it prevents any of these wrinkles from happening, but you don't have to sleep on your back. You can actually sleep on your side, but it has a little groove in the pillow so that your face where your eyes are and where your mouth is, is not pressed up against the pillow. So if you're a side sleeper like I am, this is great because you don't feel like you have to force yourself to sleep on your back. Now, if you were a person who was like, I just wanna sleep on my back, I feel like that's the best way to prevent wrinkles. The other really cool thing about the Sleep and Glow pillow is that if you are starting out sleeping on your back and then as you're sleeping, you 
you know, unconsciously try to turn, your head is in kind of a cavity, a little bit of a cavity on the pillow. So it makes it harder for you to automatically turn your head. Sleep and Glow gives you a 30 night sleep trial with a money back guarantee. It has a three year warranty. The pillows last around five years and it's made of top quality, high quality memory foam. The other thing about this pillow, it forces your body to get in the correct position so where you're not sleeping wrong. Um, so it prevents a lot of these neck kinks that we can get or at least I can get my husband has huge back problems and he stole my last sleep and glow pillow from me and because he uses it all the time and so now I have a second one so this is also a great pillow if you have back problems I do have a discount code to give you for a sleep and glow pillow if you want to give it a try I will link everything you need to know in the description box and let's continue prints are another area where we can get in trouble prints just go in and out of fashion very fast here is a traditional non-trendy dress style, but the print is very dated looking and the big flowers make me appear larger than I am and don't really balance out my proportions. Now this dress is not something I've had in my closet for 15 years. It's actually for sale <laughs> at a major department store right now. Um, but you know, even this dress, the style is fine. If it was in like a dark green, hunter green color, a solid color, it would look a lot better. This dress is also conservative and has a floral print, but the print is much smaller and more sophisticated. Small florals don't tend to look dated as much as the larger ones can. They don't go in and out of style as much as the larger florals do. And they also can have a more slimming effect. Now I live in Florida and we love a good, bright, colorful floral dress in the spring and often a floral dress can also look very youthful and more modern if it's in a style that shows off a part of your body, like your shoulders or your legs or your arms or your chest. Pick a part of your body that you love the most, highlight that and cover the rest. Certain prints can be very fun and youthful when they are in a classic print or a print that works for your look. For me personally, I usually gravitate towards solid color dresses because they are much more timeless and sophisticated in a lot of ways. Plus I know that I won't personally get tired of them quickly. In the age of social media, it's hard to wear a printed dress to two events in the same month, <laughs> but much easier with a solid color and I just kind of switch up my accessories. The next outfit I have is another print and also currently for sale at Target. The skirt I have on is an Aleth that doesn't do anything for my shape and makes me appear dowdy. I appreciate that they added a slit, which you would think would help, but it really doesn't. The print would probably be okay if it were in another type of clothing. When wearing a knee length or a midi length, it can often look more flattering and youthful to have a more fitted skirt, like the one I'm showing here, especially paired with a looser fit top. This would also look more youthful with a maxi length skirt, which are very on trend right now. It's very easy to find maxi length and a body skimming top or a top that is brought in at the waist. And for me, I love a good mini skirt with a loose fit top that just looks better on me and I like the style a lot better and I feel like it looks a little more youthful. So I actually used to wear skirts almost every day, but in the last year or so, I've really been loving the look of trouser pants and how sophisticated they make everything look. Something about a good trouser pant outfit says, I'm proud of my age and how much wiser I am now, you know? Oh boy, here we go with another top currently for sale at Target and some skinny jeans and my ugly but comfortable shoes. Target, by the way, does have some cute things right now, but they also miss the mark on quite a bit. This outfit, we can keep the skinny jeans, but we need a different top and shoes. The top has an unflattering print and cut, and again, the crisscross ties look kind of dated. My shoes are too clunky for skinny jeans, and we need something slimmer. For a basic and just as, if not more, comfortable outfit, I've put in one of my favorite basic tees, my faded, faded black skinny jeans, and my pointy toe flats, which are ridiculously comfortable, and I won't go on about these shoes, because I've mentioned them in so many videos and you're probably sick of hearing about how oddly comfortable they are. The slimmer shoe pairs better with skinny jeans and makes it look more balanced. Then we still have a loose fit top, but it's brought in at the waist and is a basic tee that will never go out of style. I could also do a printed top here with a print that is more flattering on me. And I could also do some slim or minimal, minimal style sandals here. Or back to the new top that is meant to be left untucked, I could wear that as well. 
But in terms of prints, I think the more safe prints are usually something like a classic stripe, some kind of very tiny print in the fabric. Not a few more swaps you can make in your wardrobe to make sure that you look a little more classic looking, a little more current, rather than you know a little bit dated or a little bit older than you are. One of them, the first one that comes to mind, are the pants that hit everyone at their calf. They might be capris or um, calf length pants. What else could they be called? Those just really are not flattering on a lot of people. I know that they have a function. And if you're going to the beach and you're going to be walking in the water, that would be a very great length for you. And you, why would you even care how old you look because you're going to the beach walking in the water. But if you're out and about and that's your outfit, that's your normal go-to pant, you may want to consider you know, either going to a Bermuda length or what I like instead of this is an ankle crop. It's hitting you at your ankle, which looks a lot more flattering and a lot better on most people. And it can look a lot more current. Another swap I would make is if you have been a jeggings person and you love jeggings then, you love jeggings now, I would just consider trading them in for some regular traditional classic skinny jeans. Not the ones that are super stretchy and super tight, which those would be jeggings, but the ones that are just more, um, they almost look like a straight leg, but they're just, you know, tapered and they don't look so melted and poured in. That look, it just looks and feels very dated and it can make you look older than you are. Tell me if I'm wrong, but the reason why we end up getting into these styles and outfits that we're wearing that we usually don't feel that great in and we feel like we look frumpy and we just kind of aren't doing ourselves any favors is because we probably were in really interested in fashion at one point in our life and we bought the things and we shopped and we you know bought cute things for ourselves but then life happened and we had a baby and then another baby and then we had to move and then our jobs and just like you know life happens and that's really what's it's just not the priority anymore and then once you start to look at it again and you get back into fashion or you want to look good you're still wearing the same clothes you've been wearing for 10 years and you just kind of feel like you're in a little bit of a rut. And that's when I feel like we end up dressing kind of frumpy or dressing in a way that doesn't do us any favors. So I hope you enjoyed this video and it was helpful at all. Um, sorry about my transitions here. I messed up some of my video footage, so I just thought I'd make it super casual because I'm editing today. <laughs> Let me know what you think. Thank you to Sleep and Glow for sponsoring this video. You can check them out in the description box. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it or a thumbs down if you didn't. Consider subscribing and I will see you next time.